Today I got you guys 10 guns noobs think are bad, but some of them actually kick ass and some of them are really terrible and for that I gotta say man, noobs are correct. And this is episode number 2, meaning there is episode number 1 somewhere on the internet. And in the first one, we mostly went over Black Ops 3 zombie weapons and in this one, it's going to be Black Ops 2 zombie weapons mixed with some of my nibba Black Ops 3 zombie weapons as well. And I'm most likely gonna have a part 3 coming very soon as well. And for that, let me know in the comments one weapon name that you think that noobs would consider bad and I will put your comment in the next one if I don't have that specific weapon in this video and episode number one as well and if you're new to the channel hey make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in that as well but coming in at our number 10 spot ladies and gentlemen I'm talking about the damn Olympia yes that's the one pew pew we're talking about a $500 gun the Olympia and yes guys this is the one that my neighbor Nicole I used it in the Origins trailer. Yes, he actually used it in the cutscene of Origins remaster as well. And shit is crazy. It comes in with 2 ammo in the chamber and 38 ammo in reserve. And all I gotta say is that noobs would consider deleting their game rather than playing with this gun. And I swear, I've seen some comments, alright? Some people would say it's probably the best gun. And for that, I actually used it. You know what? I actually gave it another chance and it's pretty good. But all I gotta say, when you pop this B, it comes in with 2 ammo once again in the chamber and 60 ammo in the reserve and it's called the Hades but shit ain't that crazy I mean it is crazy but it ain't that crazy that's what I'm trying to say like if you go for the head I feel like I was on like round 25 on Nuketown I'm most likely gonna have that gameplay but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the right gameplay if you know what I'm saying but what I'm trying to say here is that on round 25 I actually got one headshot kill but at the same time it wasn't really like mind-blowing if you know what I'm saying and I know zero pro players that would actually use this beast but at the same time noobs say this is the worst gun ever but coming in at our number nine spot I'm talking about the damn fall which is one of my favorite gun in all of Call of Duty zombies but noobs say like this is not the very best they consider this gun a little bad but I gotta say man I love my nibba fall uh, a lot of pro players wouldn't necessarily use this thing but at the same time noobs wouldn't consider deleting their game if they get it out of the box so be it they will just re-hit the box and try to get that Reagan and you guys can cheat like they would say Reagan is the best and for that reason alone I may make a 10 second video where I slap my head constantly for 10 seconds but all I gotta say is that fall got 20 ammo in the reserve or in the chamber or I mean in the mag not in the chamber or not in the reserve but it got 180 in reserve and when you pop it it's called the WN aka when you know how, how it is you know Call of Duty zombies guys and it has 30 mag or 30 ammo in the mag and 360 in reserve shit is crazy it's a semi-auto rifle and when you pop it it becomes that uh, sort of like chicken but on steroids basically it becomes that burst gun if you know what I'm saying but Coming in at our number 8 spot, and before we get on to that number 8 spot, ladies and gentlemen, all I gotta say is that Fall got that so good of a gun sound. But ladies and gentlemen, coming back to our number 8 spot, we're talking about this thing called SVUAS. Now, this is a sniper rifle, and it's a... Uh, not many people are aware about this gun, like most noobs would consider deleting the mystery box but they always forget that this is not in the mystery box but this is a wall gun. So now I know how it feels, now they will be like okay if it's a wall gun then I'm not gonna buy. End of the story and all I gotta say yes you win, noobs win guys, noobs win all the time. But let me explain, so SVU is a sniper rifle alright, it got 12 ammo in the mag, 96 ammo in reserve and when you pop it, it stays the same basically 12 ammo in the mag but it gets a little bit of bump in the reserve ammo and now it got 190 ammo it's called the shadowy veal uh, utilizer a lot of words but you know what I'm saying my 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 game is too strong guys self complimenting is the best thing ever embrace that shit right now and live life to the fullest I don't even know why we went that deep but ladies and gentlemen SVU is a sniper rifle and it's not really the best but it's not the worst at the same time but noobs think this is probably the best. but coming in at our number seven spot we're talking about the PDW 57 and PDW 57 is so close to my heart absolutely love using this thing in black ops 2 multiplayer when trick dropped that patch i remember shit was not crazy but prior to that patch shit was crazy af but it got 50 ammo in the mag and 200 ammo in reserve and when you pop this b it got 50 ammo in the mag and 350 in reserve and it's called the predictive death wish 
57,000 and I gotta say shit is crazy AF and with this you can actually make a lot of points and I was surprised because I haven't used this thing like in a while because of course uh, I had to go back and play that damn map called Die Rise. By, by the way, don't hate that map but I know a lot of people hate this map. I personally don't hate that map, I personally don't love that map. I, I'm just like, hey, it's a new experience. So I went back, played this map, bought this gun off of the wall, yes it's a uh, wall gun once again and shit was crazy like I made a lot of points and the damage was crazy AF as well. But coming in at our number 6 spot, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about this thing called Locust and Locust is a sniper rifle and check this out whenever noobs heard that they're gonna use or they're gonna get uh, the sniper rifle out of the box they would consider deleting their game and installing that game once again and deleting that game once again after it has installed once again basically they hate sniper rifles and sometimes I'm just like what you guys crazy and sometimes Carlos look at me and say like what and I look at Bob and say like you crazy Bob but I swear Locust is a good meme it got 10 ammo in the mag and 60 ammo in reserve but when you pop it it got 25 ammo in the mag and 100 in reserve it's called the atomic uh, dirge <laughs> cannot even pronounce it but according to something doesn't matter doesn't matter according to something this gun is a one shot kill till round 36 and we're talking about black ops 3 and if you pair this gun with dead wire or blast furnace and you time it correctly you can easily fly to run 100 shit is crazy af but coming in at our number five spot we're talking about the m and I was like so surprised when a noob came to me and said mtar is not a good meme I would rather use the uh, SMR than mtar. I was just like saying like I lost my mind I was saying like what you crazy dog you but mtar got 30 ammo in the mag and 240 ammo in the reserve And when you pop this B it, it has 30 ammo in the mag and 360 ammo in that juicy reserve and it's called the male wall and taxonomic anodized redeemer such a long ass name But all I gotta say is that pop up bless this gun real real good and th this is a good meme I absolutely love how you shoot this thing I absolutely love the sound and I absolutely love how you reload this thing and how you see that guy thumb when you're actually reloading like I, I swear it's a good meme love the sound love how it cocks back or pull back you know how it is right love the iron side as well and a lot of people would say it's a good meme like if you're new to zombies play with this gun once and I swear you will fall in love but coming in at our number four spot we're talking about the Remington 870 MCS it's a shotgun and I swear noobs would say this is not a good meme because the thing is it got 6 ammo in the mag and 36 ammo in reserve and it's a wall gun in origins D master not in remaster but the original origins and the thing is to these noobs every time they hear something like a shotgun or a sniper rifle that is on the wall they would consider this gun is the worst and trust me this time they are a little they're 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 correct they're correct uh, all I gotta say is that I got 6 ammo in the mag and 36 in reserve and when you pop this B it gets 10 ammo in the mag and 70 in reserve and it's called the refitted 870 mechanical cranium sequencer such a long ass name but this gun ain't that good I mean it's good but the problem is it's on origins D master and the ammo is a real problem because if you actually dig spots and you get the rare Remington 870 that is non pack punch because that's what you're gonna get when you dig those spots and let's say you have pack punch the Remington 870 MCS in Origins D Master and if you dig that you see that you pick that up and pew pew that mother effer is gone so that's another problem for another video but what I'm trying to say it ain't got that much ammo but the damage is pretty good I love how it is how it looks but at the same time it's not a good meme and noobs absolutely hate this thing but coming in at our number three spot we're talking about this thing called the M14 and M14 I swear it's a classic I always get those nostalgic boner I mean that's so much information for this YouTube video but at the same time I gotta keep it real but it got 8 ammo in the mag or in the chamber or in whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right it got 8 ammo in the mag and 96 ammo in reserve and when you pop it it's called the amnesia which is such a good name I heard this name somewhere but I don't know what it exactly means I may google it later on but as of right now while I'm recording this video I don't know uh, and it gets uh, 6 ammo in the in the mag and 100 192 ammo in reserve and it's a wall gun normally found in the starting room of every single zombie map on black ops 2 zombies and when noobs see this when noobs hear this they go bozo they would consider deleting their game three times and install it back delete it install it back delete it they would do the three times 
but they won't play with this gun. They absolutely hate it, and I swear, M14 isn't really a good meme, but I mean, when you pop it, it becomes a little bit good, but at the same time, it ain't that good, if you know what I mean. If it wasn't Black Ops 3, well, it would be considered God, if you know what I'm saying, right? But, I mean, I do get those nostalgic boner, that's a lot of information once again, but that's how it is. But at the same time, noobs say it's not a good meme. But coming in at our number 2 spot, now this will get all the pro players triggered. Trust me, I was there, I got triggered when a noob came to me and said, Well, Mauser, why are you using Mauser? You're gonna go down, bro, stop using the Mauser. And I looked at him and I said, like, why you crazy? And even Bob got triggered, not on the guy, but on me. And I was saying, like, what once again? Like, shit is crazy, but all I'm gonna say, when you pop this B, it gets 50 ammo in the in the mag and 100 in reserve. And in Black Ops 3, you can even put dead wire, but without even having double pack punch abilities or dead wire or blast furnace. So, like, doesn't matter. This gun kills shit, alright? This gun kills kill shit. It's called the Boom Hilda. It's like a Reagan Mark II but on steroids. That's it. I can totally end the video right now but coming in at our number one spot we're talking about the damn Ballista and all I gotta say noobs are correct to think that this is a bad gun because it is. It's not even good after round two. Like this B takes two shots to actually kill a zombie on round 3. Shit's crazy. Check out some other videos on the screen right now if you haven't missed any of them. Subscribe if you haven't to be new and smash a like if you did enjoy this video and let me know in the comments right now that one weapon name that you want to see in the part 3 of this video but of course make sure that is relevant to the topic and I'll see you very freaking soon.